In today's video, we will be creating journal entries for dividends. When working with dividends, there are only two events which are considered accounting transactions and will, therefore, be journalized. The first event is when the dividend is officially declared by the Board of Directors. When the Board declares a dividend, they are legally obligated to pay the dividend. This means that they have an obligation to pay, and we've already learned that any obligation to pay is considered a liability. So the journal entry for declaring a dividend is really just recording the liability, or debt, to pay the dividend to stockholders at some future date. Now let's imagine for our example that on December 15th your company's board of directors declares a dividend of $2 per share and that capital stock is currently issued is 2,500 shares. The first step in building our journal entry is to decide what the total obligation is for the declared dividend. Dividends are typically declared as a specific price per share of issued stock. This means that we must multiply the cost of the dividend by the total number of shares. In our example, the dividend was declared as $2 per share with 2,500 shares. So $2 times 2,500 is $5,000. That is the total obligation that our company now owes its stockholders. As we look at the financial statements, dividends go in the owner's equity section of the balance sheet because they are associated with the owners of the company. Just like the draws account for a sole proprietorship, the dividends account is a debit balance because the owner's equity goes down when a business pays money out to stockholders. So in our journal entry, we will be debiting dividends for the total amount of the dividend, which we already calculated as $5,000. The other side of this entry will be to recognize the obligation or liability that the business owes to its stockholders since we haven't paid the dividend yet. We've only declared it. A liability has a normal balance of a credit, so let's credit the liability account called Dividends Payable for $5,000. That is the journal entry to declare a dividend. Now let's imagine that on January 15th, the company pays their dividend to stockholders. We would date this journal entry January 15th, since that is the day that we paid the dividend, and we would start the entry by removing the liability since we no longer owe the money now that it's been paid. If we increase the liability in our last entry with a credit, we will decrease it with the opposite, a debit. So let's debit dividends payable for $5,000 for the dividend we paid. The other side of this entry explains how we paid for the dividend. For purposes of this example, let's assume that we paid with cash. If we paid cash, that reduces the cash account, which is an asset, and assets going down are a credit, so we will credit cash for $5,000. And those are our two journal entries for the transactions related to dividends. To learn more about dividends and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.